We've all seen those funny messages on the electronic warning boards above the Bankhead Tunnel. And they usually change every couple of weeks, marked with a little humor to warn drivers of that 12 foot limit. Yeah, the feds not finding those messages though, all that funny. In mm -hmm. fact, they're giving states two years to implement changes outlined in an updated 1100 page manual that was released last month. Our Lee Peck is on this story tonight, live near the Bankhead. Lee, Aldot doesn't seem to be too concerned about all this. No, they aren't, Byron Lanise, but they, they are taking it seriously. Aldot tells me that the U.S. Federal Highway Administration updates this manual every five years. In fact, they say that the section pertaining to uh, humorous messages is word for word what it was five years ago. Well, now it's under review by the state, but we decided to let people on the street weigh in. Take a listen. 24 resolution, don't hit me. Here's hoping. While these messages have certainly caught the attention of drivers going through the Bankhead Tunnel, and according to Aldot, even cut down on the number of big trucks losing the 12 foot battle with the Bankhead, the U.S. Federal Highway Administration aims to ban messages with obscure meanings, references to pop culture, or even those intended to be funny. It might distract people. Sometimes, they, sometimes you know, they, to, to me, anything to make you laugh, make you smile. Especially if it's stopping vehicles from hitting the tunnel. That's right. Yeah, makes sense to me. Because I don't see a bunch of them down there stuck. They can try to go up through there. Aldot releasing this statement reading in part, at this point we are unsure that this is the end of the humorous bankhead signs. And since this rule from the FHWA is so recent, we have had no policy decisions at the state level yet. Well, that's obvious from today's sign, which reads, I like 12 foot and I cannot lie. Aldot went on to say they're still reviewing the exact wording to see if there's any leeway or is it a mere suggestion? They tell Fox 10 News the Bankhead's electric sign is the only one. They incorporate humor. The others on the Bayway are strictly used for warnings of crashes, weather and delays. While the feds are trying to avoid drivers from being confused and distracted, drivers tell us a little humor goes a long way. As long as it gets to the point, you know, it can be funny. But uh, if the point doesn't come across correctly, then it can be confusing. So um, I've never known the feds to have a very good sense of humor. So, you know, there's some concern there. Humor. I mean, come on, your day's too serious as it is. So to have a little bit of humor and it catches your attention and you remember it. Uh, I'm not surprised at all that stuff went down after that because people stop and they look and they want to see what that sign is, right? And if it impacts them or not, hopefully not literally impacts them, but I hope they know. <laughs> Again, state departments have until 2026 to comply. Aldot went on to tell us that they, they plan to fully comply if after that review it is found that the new guidance strictly prohibits uh, that humorous messaging. We're live tonight in downtown Mobile. Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.